What's up guys? It's me Enzo and I'm back with another video. It's this is part 3 of my playing Final Fantasy 12 the Zodiac Age and here's my save file. Currently in this file I'm at the South Bank Village as you can see so let's load it up. So while I wasn't recording, I was able to do quite some things and uh, as you can see here let's have a look at my clan primer in the bestiary i did uh, most if uh, not all the monsters in the bestiary for the giza plains and i'm able to complete the map in the giza plains as well so the only uh difficult uh, two monsters that you're not uh, easily able to complete in this bestiary is this one this uh, Sleipnir, which is an armored horse that appears only in one map in the Giza, particularly in the southwest corner of uh, ma map, and this one as well, the Wild Snake, which is only in one portion of the map. So, with that being said, I'm able to complete most of the maps in the Damascus Esther Sand as well except these parts over here and yeah as you can see I'm here in the north so, uh, south bank mil village like I said I'm able to complete the banks of Nebra, Sandswept Maze and Yadrang Labyrinth which we'll be doing a hunt here later on but first let's go to the petitioner of the hunt that we'll be doing so this is the hunt that we'll be doing Almascus Desert Blue for the flowering cactoid we need to speak to the petitioner which is Dantro as it says here but first I want to show you guys where to buy some uh, blizzard black magic it's here this lucky merchant. That's Pinchakobo over there. He has a fondness for shiny things, it buries everything. It can get its beak on. <laughs> Most recent victim. All the gill I made in Rabbit Aster. Down with my luck. What do you say? Buy something and help me out? What do you say? Alright. Here you here you have the blizzard magic. Purchase it, it's 240 gill. Pretty cheap and worth it so with the black magics I'm able to collect now let me show you we just bought this one lizard magic you can find silence and poison magic as well in here at the um, the mask caster sands I, i'm not sure if you can find the poison magic here in the banks of nebra or the sandswept maze but i'm sure you can find it uh here in the yardang labyrinth the silence black magic which is at the uh north east corner of this map so uh yeah let's head to dantro he's located over here as it says in the uh, the clan primer in the outpost in Domascus Sand. Quite a long walk to head there. You can use the orange save crystal over there, but I won't. Uh, let's go over there. Let's walk all the way to the outpost. So now that we're here in the Domascus Sand, I'll be muting the music so that I won't get a copyright claim like in my first video. All right, let's go. See how OP the <laughs> dark magic is. It makes everything so easy. Yeah. The 
dark magic basically one hits most of the enemies in the the Esther sand and the uh, the Giza. Even this alpha wolf here. Have a see, have a look. See, just one hit. <laughs> so definitely get the dark magic guys. Have fun. Be a uh, red battle mage. Red battle mages are not just able to do arcane magic like this one. They're also able to do black magic. Some black magic, but not all like the the black mage. So. I think I'm gonna make Fran the uh, the black mage of the party. So if you guys aren't familiar with this game, Fran is the only non-hum, non-human of the party. Fran is a half, uh, not really half, but her race is called the Viera, and I'm sure you guys have seen her in like trailers. And, um, just by looking up Final Fantasy XII in general, she's the bunny human type character. <laughs> she's the fan service of uh, the whole party. <laughs> fan service character. Anyway, I'm just consuming all of my MP right now, just so I can get my way to the. Outpost. Awesome, two hits. Backup. If you need to do, or if you need to be doing attack, she's the the backup. Like I said. <laughs> oh yeah. Before we head to the outpost, guys, I want to show you where you can buy as well uh, a mace for Vaughn, since Vaughn is a red battle mage here in my playthrough. Nalbina Fortress is over here. I uh, wasn't able to enter the Nalbina Fortress yeah. just yet since I wanted to show you guys how to get there. Yeah. The Mask of Esther Sand. As you can see, I have a lot of potions now. Around 58. It's from. What do you call this? It's from random loot uh, drops from enemies and from chests all over the map. So it's it's key to explore every part of the map that you go through and to stock up on potions as well. Yeah. If you're able if you're able to buy some at vendors. But I'm not sure if the mace is better in terms of damage compared to a dagger, but I guess we'll see.
So here's the entrance to now being a fortress. There's an orange safe crystal, so you're able to teleport here as well. But I walked all the way here so that you guys will know how to get here. I'll save here. This map is called the West Barbican. And here's the entrance. There's an FMV as we enter the Nalbina Fortress. in the desert <laughs> anyway that was the uh, FMV as you enter the now been a fortress um hello <laughs> sometimes the loading from map to map in this game takes a while especially if uh, it's the first time you enter so there's some vendors here by the uh, by the entrance of Nalbana we can turn back the music on since we're in town so there's a there's a magic vendor Awesome, he sells a thunder magic, so this is where you can buy thunder magic early on in the game, guys. 200 gil, it's worth it. So, let's have a, a look at what else these vendors have for sale here in Albina. This is the Techniques vendor. Ooh. First aid. Restore HP to one HP critical ally. 600 gil. Why not? What's this? Morning Star Gambits. I don't think I'm able to buy Gambits this early on in the game. Say hey there, you know about Gambits? Well, see, they're like, well, they're here. Take a look. Sorry, I'd best brush up on my wares before I cry them. Come back later. I'll give it another try, eh? See? So it's not yet av available. I think Gambits will be available once you have Balthier and Fran in your party. And they give you an introduction into uh, gambits. Oh, here's the uh, here's the uh, armors vendor. So I'm not really gonna. Waste gill on armors, really. But I'll definitely be selling some stuff. Yeah, I'll sell some of my stuff now. I'll sell this one dagger. And what else? These cotton caps. They're pretty useless. Uh, they're for beginners. And uh, I think. 
the only character that I'm gonna turn into a mage class wearing mage armor is uh, Fran next so I just need to have one at least in stock in my uh, inventory and I have two leather breastplates uh, one is equipped to uh, Benalo and I have one extra for uh, Balthier who I'm gonna turn into a machinist or ma ma machinist how do I pronounce that but anyway the the gun wielder of the party by default he is but uh, machinist is good because it's long range though its attack is not that physical attack not that good but it makes up for uh, being able to use uh, measures as well what's this I have an argyle armlet cool uh, I can be immune to blind. This is nice, I won't sell that. Uh, not gonna sell any of my items. Definitely keep my teleport stones and uh, these earth stones. I can sell them all. Wind stones as well. Water stones. Fire stones. Definitely, since I have a lot. And storm stones. Molting, fish scale, drab wool, snake skin, and hide. Wolf belts, I have a lot. <laughs> and a small feather. Large feather as well. You see, uh, if you keep stealing and just hunting monsters in general, you're gonna have a lot of loot to sell and from uh, around a thousand gil that I had left earlier I now have 11,164 gil awesome so I won't have to worry about gil and I have some new bizarre items antidote set 100 gil sure three antidotes guilt shield one buckler awesome and first aid kit. I wonder what this is. Two phoenix downs and two potions. Cool. Awesome. Now let's go to the uh, weapons merchant over here. The, Imperials, the Imperials have taken a liking to our shop. Business is great. Care for a weapon or two? So here you can buy the mace, like I said. So as you can see, it's plus three to Vaughn's attack power compared to the dagger so definitely you can buy one equip it bowgun I don't think I'm gonna be having a time battle mage character uh, anytime soon so not just yet I think this is for a white mage the rod oak staff is for a black mage I'm gonna need one for Fran later on since I'm gonna turn Fran into a black mage. So cool. I'm able to buy all the weapons that I need and I still have 9,364 uh, gil left. So we're done with Nalbina. As you can see, it's just a small town but uh, very useful items you can buy over here if you're not able to do so yet also there's a good vendor by the uh, the entrance by the orange safe crystal I mean. let's go back there
So we're here at the uh, outpost. Let's go talk to Dantro, the petitioner for the hunt for the flowering cactus. Here's Dantro, guys. Let's talk to him. Now that the ceremony for this new console's over, they probably or they finally opened up the road to the Nebra. Oh, you're here about the bill I posted. That's the first good news I've had all day. So you'll hunt this flowery character for me. Accept. That's what I need to hear. So let's. Uh, let's tell you what you need to know. You probably saw some pictures th th that look like cactuses on, on your way here from Ravenaster. Speak of the devil. You've seen them before, right? Mostly they keep to themselves, mostly. But every now and then, a different sort of cactoid comes along, has a flower in its head. They're the troublemakers. Smarter than your average cactoid, and they have a taste for blood. Can't count how many times they've attacked the outpost. But they don't attack when, while I'm on watch. They tried that once, learned their lesson. Look, there it is now. The flowering cactoids run uh, the ones up. The ones up. Sorry. The one up front. Look at there. Look at it there, it's monkey. So yeah. This uh, hunt's gonna be quite annoying. So yeah. Let's just accept this hunt, skip all the, the small talk. The strategy for this hunt is to do physical damage. Oh, and when you kill it, don't forget to take the flower. The uh, apothecaries can make a potent salve from its petals. So, yeah. So now, we're back at the Yardang Labyrinth, guys. And we're gonna be hunting the flowering cactoid. I was saying uh, a while ago that it's quite annoying yeah. to hunt this uh, flowering cactoid because yay I leveled. It's gonna be casting a thousand needles before it dies and it's either uh, uh, Van or Benello will get hit by it which we don't want. So we better be prepared for it. Let Pinello give me a potion. So it's this aisle over here that you see there. That's the flowery cactoid. So let's see how much damage the dark magic uh, does. Does a lot of damage to it, as you can see. And it's dead. It's that easy. I guess it would. It, all it needed was uh, just cast dark magic all the way. Uh, it takes around three casts, and it's dead. All right. Huh. This wolf think it's all brave and stuff. Attacking us. Little does it know that we can one hit it. <laughs> anyway, since we're done with the uh, flowering cactoid, as you can see here, and uh, also the the textura. 
I think there's only one more thing that we can do before we head back to Old Dalen and move on with the main story. Uh, since we defeated the the flowering cactoid, we acquired its uh, flower that Dantro was saying that is a uh, it's a good medicine basically. So let's head back to Dantro real quick. Yeah. Not waste any time. I was real glad that the, the flowering cactoid wasn't able to cast a thousand needles because it would have just one hit either Vaughn or Pinello and we didn't want that. Speak to Dentro. That's a cactus flower. I wish I could have been there when you put that overgrown cactus in its place. <laughs> yeah. Here's your bounty. I know it's not much, but it's the best that I can do. Uh, thanks for your help. 500 gill and 10 potions. Awesome. I think I can ask you to do one last thing for me. The cactus flower. Would you take that to my wife for me? She's in the village north of here. She's been tendi tending to a sick traveler found near the village and I think she might be able to prepare some medicine from that flower. The village is on the south bank of the Nebra. Oh, and tell them to send someone to relieve me while you're there. So, we're done with the uh, that hunt. And as Dantro said, the wife can be found here. And this side quest that we're about to do is called the, uh, the Desert Patient side quest. Let's have a look at our hunts. So we've completed Rogue Tomato, Wolf in the Waste, and Damascus Desert Bloom. I don't want to walk all the way to the, the, uh, the south bank of uh, or the south village where Dantro's wife is. So I'm going to just teleport there. So I'm here by the uh, the orange crystal at the south gate uh, in front of uh, facing the Giza Plains. This is my first time to be using the uh, teleport feature, and it's gonna use up one of the one of our teleport stones. So you wanna teleport to Dalmasca Essersan right here. It's gonna take us to the South Bank Village where Bantro's wife is. Alright, so we're here. Let's go talk to here, this villager. This is Dantro's wife. Quiet. We've a sick traveler sleeping just inside, collapsed not far from the village. I worry it may be already too late. Dantro Bay bring you this cactus flower? This should help, yes, thank you. Take this for your trouble. You obtain a bundle of needles. Awesome. Let's go talk to her again. Keep your voice low, please. Our guest is still sleeping inside. The cactus flower you brought should help with the fever, but not the pain. If I had some sea clam shells, I could make something to ease the pain. Do you think I could ask you to bring me some? Sea clam shells uh, live in the shallows along the banks of the river. The more you bring to me, the better. So yeah. You need to get a certain amount of these items moving forward so first sea clam shells here's one you 
gonna be needing a total of five C clamshells. You can find two here in the uh, by the shore in the uh, South Bank village. And, uh, that's the second one. So now the other three are located over here in this next map. Called, wait, let me check. Called the uh, the banks of Nebra. So, yup, it's over here by the by the the shore here. There are three more sea clam shells over here. So one is over here by the corner. That's three. Another one is uh, somewhere here in the middle. That's four. And the last one over here. That's five. Let's check. So yeah. See here in your loot inventory that you have uh, sem clam shells, five. I thought it was sea clam shells, whatever. It's called sem clam shells. So now that we have uh, five, let's head back to Dantro's wife again. So there's a lot of back and forth needed for this uh, desert patient side quest. the sea clamshells. Yes, yes, this should do nicely. She'll uh, say that once you speak to her. Unfortunately, our guest wounds continue to be, uh, to bleed. Nebrilim can staunch the, the wound, but we seem to be out. I think Dantro took some with him when he left for the outpost. Would you mind bringing some back to the village? So, another set of going all the, all the way to the outpost over here. So now we need to look for Nebra limbs, which the wife just said. So I'll cut back to you guys once I've traversed all the way here, back to the outpost. So we're here back at the outpost, guys. Let's go talk to Dantro. Running errands for my wife, eh? Nebrilim? There should be some over by those crates. Help yourself. So yeah, said there's one here. Uh, there's one over here by the large stack of crates. And there's another one. So there's a total of uh, two Nebrilims, of uh, files of Nebrilims that you can find here so check in your inventory so you need two you need these exact numbers that I'm giving you five sea clam shells earlier and then two nebra limbs so that you will get the uh, the best reward later on uh, once you're finished with this side quest but we're not gonna be able to finish this side quest just yet but later on in the game so I'll get back to you guys once I walk all the way back to the South Bank village again to speak to Dantro's wife. See you in a bit. <laughs> so I'm back here guys at the South Bank village. Let's go talk to Dantro's wife. You have the Nebrilim, wonderful. A little bit of this spread over the wound should staunch the bleeding. Now to do some about uh, to do something about the poison. Some veil blossom dew would quickly neutralize it 
I hate to ask for help yet again, but do you think you could gather some for me? You should find some blooming along the cliffs in the broken sands. So this area of the broken sands is still inaccessible at this point of the game, so you need to be able to go to the North Bank Village and this area here, the Yoma, and this is where the broken sands is. So it's still not accessible or not possible to go here with our level and uh, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to go there. So this is as far as we can go uh, regarding the uh, the desert patient side quest. So let's save our game here for now. And it's good because uh, when you get the exact number of uh, loot to give to Dantro's wife and follow uh, this guide that I'm doing, the way I do it, and you'll get the best reward at the end of the, the side quest, which is getting a golden amulet. And the, the golden amulet is great because it's... Uh, when you equip it, the character gets double the experience points when uh, when the accessory is equipped, basically. So they'll level up faster once you equip them with a golden amulet. So yeah, it's worth it. And especially if you're going to be doing a, uh, a completionist game, a 100% game. So that's about it. Next, we're going to be going back to... Nothing else left to do. We're going to go all the way back to Rabanaster. So, I'm going to traverse back there, back to old Dallin's house, and I'll see you guys there in a bit. So, I'm back at the south gate, guys, and let me save at the save crystal first. And before we uh, go back to old Dallin's house, like I said, I'm gonna need to like unequip um, Penelo with some uh, from some stuff. Give her just this leather cap. Um, yeah, and also remove the uh, the bangle from her so that. Um, Balfier will be able to get better equipment once Balfier and Fran join the party, which is uh, in a little bit. <laughs> so let's go back to old Alan's house now. chest first. I know this contains some gill. <laughs> Two gill. Hey, Vaughn? Hmm? Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn? Try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. There, Benello leaves the party because Vaughn has plans for his uh, on his own. Let's go talk to Dallin. Oh ho! So you've got a sunstone, have you? Had it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the crescent stone back its magics, like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. 
two doors she has. Now the right takes Van Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom, but that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair, the stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The Signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the Signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So... Look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> huh. So, yeah. You obtained the crescent stone. Alright, so... Let me turn back the, uh, the music back on. So I think we're safe terms of having music in towns as well as uh, this next area as well Garam Scythe waterway I think it's safe there I guess we'll find out but if ever the audio gets muted guys you know what's up Squads 3 through 6 are in place they stand ready so far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir! Sir! So, that was, uh, a mysterious character. A preview of one of our party members. I'm sure you guys that have played this before know who that was, but if uh, you guys haven't uh, or haven't tried playing Final Fantasy XII yet, then I'm not going to spoil it for you so that you'll know later on. X marks the spot on the map, I'm just following it, you need to go through the the gateway to the, the sewers, but it's a different pathway, not the usual entrance that Vaughn is taking, like what Dallin said. Storehouse 5 is sick. So, it's Kais. Hey Vaughn, I finally worked out how to get to the door on the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. I wanted you to go in first or waited for you to come before opening it. Well, that's one of the reasons I waited. The thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. I'm gonna need you to go fetch them for me. I know, I know, not the most exciting thing to do, is it? Hehe. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I got everything ready. I need ready to go. Hang on while I open it. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see. Yeah, that should do it. So, messing around with the door by kites. It's open. Now you've got a whole other place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go on. No telling what's down there. Might come in handy. Two potions, four files of eye drops. Uh, thanks. I have a lot of potions already, so. Uh, not facing north, yeah. We go to the left gateway. So we're here at the Garb's 
Scythe Waterway. There's a save crystal here. Let's save our game. First, let's go over here so that we can complete the map. And there are some uh, dire rats over at this side that will let us complete our best Yari for the dire rats, which was actually our first enemy that we were able to to kill <laughs> in this game. So I don't need to steal anything from the, the rats anymore. Unless, uh, I'm not sure if uh, there's anything special from the rats, not really, just rat belts. Unless we get the, uh, the monographs, which uh, we'll go over later on. Let's check our bestiary. So here we've completed the dire rats, like I said. We're able to get rat tails, a cheap region for all your potion craft you know, needs, blah blah blah. So yeah, I don't know how I'm able to get rat tails though. I think, like I said, we need to get monographs or uh, something. A mace. Dude, if I knew that a mace was there, then I should have just waited and then bought it. Uh, not bought the maze in the Nalvina instead, but whatever. I'm here already, so... I'm gonna save my game again. Whenever there is a save crystal, uh, Take advantage of it, guys, because like it fully restores your HP and your MP. So there's there's an area here called uh, North Spur Sluice Way. It's not shown here just yet. Yeah, but we're gonna be there in a bit. So. Checking every corner if uh, there's a chest that I can open. But looks like not, uh, not really. So let's move forward. Yeah. 
I'm not sure why, let me check in my configuration. My battle speed is already at full fast and I still find it quite slow. Anyway. Great. That was uh, uh that was what I was uh, counting on. To be able to one shot these rats because they're annoying. It's weird that uh Mace is not able to one shot a uh, friggin' rat, which is just a tiny enemy. Anyway, so on to another map. I think we already passed the North Spur Sluice Way, or uh, this is it actually, the North Spur Sluice Way, and hopefully. Will, ab will it be able to find a... It says here that we can find either uh, a mage masher or a... What do you call this? An oak staff. But the mage masher is definitely the better item to get since I already have uh, an oak staff.
also, I know that in this, uh, this map, there's a rare enemy that there's only a percentage chance that you're able to, like, uh, encounter it once you enter this particular map, this, uh, North Spur Sluiceway. It's, uh, it's a bigger version of that, uh, fish enemy that, uh, what do you call that thing? That itch, itch thon enemy, that fish. But it's called something else. It's called the razor fin, if I'm not mistaken. But I think it's only a 10% chance to be able to, uh, find it, replacing one of the, the fish enemies in this map, so you're gonna have to do several in and outs of this map to find it. So I guess I wasn't able to to spawn the the razor fin like I wanted to. I'm gonna repeat coming back to this map until I do, until I'm able to have it spawn. I know I'm able to steal a particular loot from it that's quite rare at this point of the game as well so I need to I need to take this opportunity to great a remedy huh <laughs> that's awesome anyway um, yeah I'm gonna go back to the previous map and try my best to spawn the razor fin guys but I think I'm gonna call this video a wrap for today I think it's already running for almost an hour, if not exceeded already. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you stay tuned for my next video, part 4. And yeah, keep on playing guys, stay at home, stay safe, and peace out.